Hello everyone and welcome to the new series of Easy Power BI. I named it Unusual Cases. Because what I have seen that most of the developers who are working on Power BI, whenever they face a new kind of scenario, they are unable to resolve it. Sometimes uh, some knowledge of DAX is required, which they lack. That's why they are unable to think like what is the best solution for that. So in this series, our first use case is max state in groups. Before we jump into the implementation, it is better to understand the use case. If you have seen, uh, if you are seeing this screen, you can uh, see that there are three different products, A, B, and C, and there are different purchase dates within each group. And in this solution, what we are doing, we are highlighting the date which was the recent date of purchase of that particular product. If you take uh, product A for example, we have in product A there are four different dates and out of which May 1st is the recent date. In the second group, you have April 1st as the latest purchase date and in the third one we have 1st March as the latest purchase date. So what we are doing, we are actually finding the maximum date within this group and we are highlighting this particular date. So if you are facing similar scenario, <coughs> we have different ways of achieving this kind of result. The first one is the default behavior with matrix. So if you see over here in this, we have included products in the rows section and values is the latest purchase date which is if you click over here you can see that I have selected the date field and then the date column I have selected the earliest like in this field well when I dropped it I have selected it as latest so if you see over here the default behavior of matrix allows us to show maximum dates of purchase for each product so in this case a is first may which is correct b is first april which is also correct in the similar manner c is there which is also correct but in the bottom scenario what we did we instead of using this feature we have used a different measure which is max date group and here I'm not using matrix I'm using table but I'm getting similar kind of result but this is something which I have created separately now the third scenario is like if you are arranging it like this you have both these options fine you can easily achieve it but if a scenario is like this that you want to show all dates of purchases but you want to highlight only those dates which were the recent one. So instead of digging this particular chart, you can easily spot which of the date is the recent date in this group. So I faced this scenario with one of my customers. <clears throat> so in order to share with my followers, I have created this example. So let's jump into uh, the measures part and measures what we did. You can see that I have selected the max date which is a measure which is getting the maximum purchase date from my data and max date in group is actually doing a kind of a calculation a calculated measure which is uh, applying the calculate function and then on top of the max date I am ignoring the product name so in this case what what is happening that all except purchase data product name so whenever it finds a different product name it's going to update that particular calculation and it's going to return the maximum date in that particular group that's why what is happening like for all products you can see that here in this whenever a product changes it's going to change the date of the maximum 
in that particular group so what I did all except like it is ignoring the product uh, name apart from that all other uh, data it is considering and based on that all dates which are related to this particular product are considered in finding out the maximum date so if you see this column on the right of this particular column it is showing like in every row you are having this measure which is which I have created the max date in group it is showing you the maximum date so this is just to explain you like how this measure is working like on every row whatever the date of purchase is just going to find out like uh, yes this is the first January but within this group which one is the recent purchase so here in this case the recent purchase is first may in all these cases this is understood that the recent purchase is first may in the second case in the product b the most recent purchase is first april and the third one is first march now the final approach is like you want to highlight this particular date which is the recent one so logically why I have explained you like this because this particular measure is actually calculating the latest date and whenever we have we compare purchase date with maximum date in this group if both becomes equal only then we want to apply this particular color function on it so for that I have created the max color the max color is doing like it is finding the maximum date and then maximum date in the group and it is saying that if the maximum date like variable a and b are equal only then return yellow now this function is created this measure is created but in order to make it functional you have to click on your matrix or table and here you will apply conditional formatting in this particular group here I have applied it in the background and if you can see like for example here let me just show you This is how you can apply it. So here, if I apply it in the maximum date group, it's going to do the same work which I did in the purchase date. So if you see that in purchase date, I've applied the similar function in the background. Field value is max color. The same way I have just shown you, if I want to apply the same feature in the max date in groups, I'll do the same I'll go to the conditional formatting I'll go to background I'm going to select the field value and I'm going to select the maximum color in the same manner if I want to apply on the product as well I'm going to repeat it once again conditional formatting background field value color max color and okay now the whole row is coming yellow in the background color because this is the total entry which is related to maximum uh, date so this max date in group there are different scenarios whenever you are working on uh, your uh, use cases you can have the similar scenario not necessary you are finding the maximum date that might be maximum amount or something else or maximum invoice date maximum collection date so there are different scenarios where you can utilize this one just to quickly go through this data for this particular example I have made a very simple data in which I had this product groups arranged and only the purchase date and the purchase price and things like that so this is uh, how uh, this example was created this is very uh, kind of a useful and handy technique so this is uh, the first unusual 
case uh, video of the series and please subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, i'll be sharing more use cases because these use cases uh, are going to help you a lot when you are delivering your products thank you very much